Still developing tonight, a tragic accident claims the life of Public Works employee in Westmont. He died today after becoming trapped inside a water main vault. And WGN's Andrea Medina is live in Westmont with the latest there. Andrea. Hi, Ray and Lourdes. Right now, a portion of 60th and Deming Place is closed off to repair a water main break. This is also where crews and first responders worked frantically to save Matt Hyden. Westmont public work crews are working through the night, digging up the pavement near 60th and Deming Place to get the water system up and running again. This is hours after water maintenance worker Matt Hyden died in a manhole trying to repair the same water main break. It's uh, one of our own employees, you know, for the village, so it's very tough. Westmont Fire Chief Steve Riley says crews are fixing a pipe leak around 11:45 Thursday morning when something went wrong. He was standing up in the uh, in the hole, and all of a sudden they were doing some work, and uh, water line let loose, and water started gushing out of the hole. The chief goes on to say fellow crews tried to rescue him, but his hand was stuck between the pipes. The hole quickly filled with water, and Hayden was trapped for almost an hour. Life-saving measures were attempted, and he was taken to Good Samaritan Hospital in Downers Grove, where he later died. Neighbors watched the tragic accident happen just feet away from them. That's terrible. I mean, the poor, poor guy in there, you know, he died. Hayden was hired in 2019 as a seasonal employee and was recently promoted to full-time. While water remains off in the neighborhood, neighbors say it's the least of their worries, but they only hope the efforts to save Hayden were successful. Our water's off, but, you know, taking care of that guy and taking care of what's going on is, is more important. OSHA is now investigating to what led Hayden to be trapped underwater in the manhole. Now, about three years ago, Hayden graduated from Westmont High School. The district says they are planning to have school counselors available tomorrow morning to support students. We're live in Westmont. Andrea Medina, WGN News. Andrea, thank you. Well